Hi guys, I'm going to be testing out the Open Broadcaster software. It is an open source software that you can use to live stream your video games or just about anything that you're capturing on your screen. You can live stream or you can record and today I'm going to be trying out the recording feature. I'm talking a little bit quiet because it's almost four o'clock in the morning and some people do not want to be awake right now. <laughs> I'm gonna just see how this works. I'm going to test it out on the game Gary's mod. I'm not really gonna play it much but I'm just gonna see how this works in recording it. Some games I'm finding are harder to record it depends sort of the settings that you put it on so I'm gonna give it a try I was having a little bit of trouble recording on full screen mode there's also a windowed mode I'll show you in a minute kind of the differences but um yeah and I was having a little bit of trouble so I'm just gonna try it out again and see how things work out so yes we'll be testing Gary's mod with the open broadcaster software I'm going to be running this software on Alienware 14 laptop. Right now I'm actually recording with the Open Broadcaster software and I have it in video capture device mode. We're going to be changing that up a little bit and I'll show you how to set up a scene. Alright, let's get started. As I said before, Open Broadcaster software is free open source software for live streaming and recording. To get it, go to obsproject.com and here's the website, we'll tell you all the information. I'm running Windows 8.1. Here's everything you need to know. It's absolutely free, it doesn't cost you anything to use this program. You see, it's one of the better programs for live streaming games. It doesn't create significant lagging. I don't know that yet because I haven't tried it live streaming and I won't be, I will be recording today. This is what it looks like when you download it and open it up. There are some settings that can be changed. I've left pretty much everything the same as it was when I opened it. There's things you need to be concerned about if you were live streaming. I'm just recording so it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to leave all of this the same in the encoding section and broadcast section. I have it set to file output only. Other settings are live stream. You can stream to Twitch and a bunch of other stuff, YouTube, everything else is on here that you might be concerned with. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I may try that in the future. And right now, I'm just going to be recording as I said, so I'm going to switch it back. File output, it's going to output as a flash video, and I can very very easily convert that to an mp4 and when I want to put the video in my video editing software and I can show you how to do that when I get to that part it's very easy video setting I'm running NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M and I believe these settings are still the same I don't think I changed it the microphone settings the only thing I might have changed here is you know, microphone boost just in case it's not picking anything up. I don't know that yet. I'll find out when I get done with this. You can also set some hotkeys. I think this was all set to none. I might have changed it in the beginning when I was fiddling around with it, but I don't really use it. The advanced settings I left the same. Quick sync encoder I left the same. And the microphone noise gate. Didn't really mess with it. There's just so that I can see that the microphone is working. These settings can all be changed as you wish. This is just how I'm going to try it right now. It's kind of pretty basic. Okay, when you open it up, I don't know why this is previewing. <laughs> okay, when you open it up, it's going to look like this down here where it says scene. You can change the name of the scene to something that you're actually doing. What I'm doing is testing, let's just say testing gameplay. That's, what, that's just what I'm going to call it. Then what you need to do is go over to sources and basically what sources does is it just adds whatever it is that you're going to be capturing on the screen. Since I'm going to be capturing a video game, I'm going to try by clicking game capture 
although sometimes some games seem to work better with window capture but I'm going to try game capture this time and see how it goes. I'm going to be testing out Gary's mod just for the heck of it and the select application section this is kind of showing what's open right now. Gary's mod is obviously not open but Steam is and I'm going to go into Steam in a minute so I'm not going to select anything yet until I get Gary's mod open. So I'm going to go into Steam and I'm going to open Gary's mod. Okay, what happened was when I opened Gary's mod, it shut down the screen capture software that I had running, which was Debut. Not the open broadcaster software, it seems to be pretty decent. <laughs> Debut shut down because I'm pretty sure because you can't run two screen capture softwares at the same time, so I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is. But uh, just to let you know that that's what happened. So down here where my cursor is um, to start recording the game, I just pressed start recording. Right now it is actually recording what I'm saying right now. So um, I will show you what I captured with the open broadcast software. I'm going to start a new game. I'm just going to go into the sandbox. I don't think I have all of the things for Gary's mod installed right now, but that's okay. We'll get it later. <laughs> okay, here's Gary's mod. Obviously I have some issues. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, sexiness, huh? You can see that I never played this very often. Oh my. Okay, that was just not very nice of me, was it? So it looks like it captured Gary's mod in the game mode just fine. The only issue that I had with it was that I wanted to have the game actually fill the screen a little bit better. So I did make a few changes and here's what I did. I have switched Gary's Mod to stretch image to the screen and I'm going to start recording it now. Oh great. I probably need a weapon. Open recordings folder. Okay, yeah. That worked a lot better, didn't it? I'm going to put it on preview stream, even though you're not going to be able to see the game since I don't have it open. Um, keep in mind, this is only a black screen because I don't have it set to... So I don't have it set to window capture. If I do have it set to window capture or monitor capture, you're going to see something on this screen. I'll show you, for example, I'm not going to change anything, I'll just show you. For example, here is monitor capture. And so it is capturing something. I'm going to turn that off because that might get kind of weird. And also, if I want to add my webcam so you could see me talking. I'm just going to leave it as video capture device right now. I'm also going to set it to custom resolution. For some reason I set it this way I think because it was easier to adjust the size of the video capture device. I don't think I'm going to change any other settings and I'm going to click OK. Oh, th that was something cool that's in there. The chroma key function, that's pretty cool. So if I had a green screen behind me, I could, like, just be floating around the video game. <laughs> and that is the video capture device on. And since it's way too big to overlay on top of vid video game, it needs to be resized. So with it highlighted, you go over here to edit scene. And once you do that, you'll see the kind of red box and you can resize it. Just drag it like that and you can also move it wherever you want to move it. I'm going to put it in this upper corner I think. Another thing you can also add, you can add images. I had created 
kind of an image. I'm not even going to rename this or anything just for the sake of getting it done quicker. Um, I created like this little frame <laughs> just for fun. It's a PNG, so there is transparency in that frame. And that's a whole other tutorial. Anyway, I'm going to overlay it over myself, resize it. And another cool thing you can add to this is scrolling text or just text. I'm going to make it scrolling text. I'm just going to leave it as text. And I'll leave all of these settings the same except for the scroll speed. I'm going to put it at 50. I'm going to put an outline around it. And also, I want to use custom text extents because I'll show you in a minute. And down here, you want to put what the text is. And I'm just going to say something like, I don't know, let's, let's play Gary's Mod. You can also change the font size if you wish, make it italic. I'm just make it italic just for fun. And I'll show you what we're going to do with this in just a second. Click OK. And here is my text. But as you can see, there's all this like extra space that I don't really need. And maybe I want to just tidy that up a bit. So I will go ahead and right click that. Click on Properties. And this, let's slide this over. And this is where you can use this part right here. I think I want to make it, no, I'm just going to type it in. Okay. Make it just a little bit wider this way. Now I want to make it less tall. So, I think I'll make it 50. You can see that green line just sort of appeared there. So let's see what that looks like with the game going. Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens. Oops. <laughs> you can see that I don't have this in the right spot. Okay, let's <laughs> see how it looks now. Mm. I need a gun. Oh my god. I forgot to tell you how to change the FLV file into an MP4 file. This is how I did it. I got this piece of software called FLV Extract and it is a free piece of software that will convert your FLV into an MP4 and it's really easy to use. This is one of the websites where you can get it and I think this is where I got it from. You can find it all over the internet and you probably want to Google it and maybe do your own research about it to see what websites you trust the most. And I'll just quickly show you how it works. Okay, I have FLV Extract open. Here are some settings that you might be concerned with. The only one I'm concerned with right now is that I want to change my FLV to an MP4. And I want all of these things in the settings. So I'm going to go to the video folder that has my flash videos and pretty much just drag it over there. When you click start, it automatically creates the MP4 in the same folder right next to the original FLV file. It's very easy and then it's ready to go and you'll find that the quality is exactly the same as the FLV file. So that is one way to convert your FLV files into an MP4. Okay, that's my test of open broadcaster software. I don't know, I don't know if I mentioned I am using the Blue Yeti microphone. This is what it looks like. Probably good to have a pretty decent microphone. I had tried to use it with a headset microphone that I had and it wasn't a very good quality sound, so. I also found out that I was when I was trying to play Amnesia the Dark Descent, 
I tried to play it in full screen mode and I was unable to preview the stream. It was a black screen, but it did not mean that it was not going to record the screen. When I put Amnesia the Dark Descent in window mode, it did not play as well. So it worked out better in full screen, but you can't see the preview of the stream. It doesn't mean that it's not recording it. It just means that you're not going to see a preview of it before you click record. I hope you found this video somewhat interesting. I want to thank you so much for watching and you guys take care out there and I will see you next time.